بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Dear viewers in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this program of the parables of the Quran, we are going to read from Surah Al-Zukhruf from Ayah 15 to 20 and that is uh, the 43rd Surah of the Quran. Now in this parable, as we have said earlier, and in this type of argument uh, has been mentioned before as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us and the address is especially to the Arabs of Arabia during the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. These Arabs who used to believe that the angels are the daughters of Allah and they used to have some idols made in the form and shape of women females and they say these are the angels they are the daughters of Allah and they used to worship them now the parable here as before is saying that how could you how could you attribute to Allah things which you don't like for yourselves that is an argument in the light of what they believed they used to believe that uh, for a person sons are better than the daughters because when you got a son he is going to to be a source of continuity with your family line he would be a helper to you in your old age unlike a daughter who is going to be wed to another person in another tribe and this is how you are not going to benefit from her existence that was their belief. We are not here concerned about what is the Islamic belief. Islamic belief is very, very clear because uh, uh, in Islamic belief, each man and woman, as far as long as he is obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his actions and her actions are acceptable to Allah and are going to be rewarded equally. As far as duties are concerned, because of their biological difference, there may, be, there may be some differences as far as the actions are concerned, but as far as the reward is concerned, the reward does not differentiate between two of them. Anyhow, this is another subject. Let us take uh, first the, the example from verse number 16. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أم اتخذ مما يخلق بنات وأصفاكم بالبنين What has he taken daughters out of what he himself creates and granted to you sons for choice وإذا بشر أحدهم بما ضرب للرحمن مثلا وَاللَّهُ وَجْهُهُ مُسْوَدًّا وَهُوَ كَظِيمٌ When news is brought to one of them of the birth of what he sets up as a likeness to Allah most gracious, his face darkens and he is filled with inward grief. أَوَمَنْ يُنَشَّوْ فِي الْحِلْيَةِ وَهُوَ فِي الْخِسَابِ غَيْرُ مُبِينٌ Is then one brought up among trinkets and unable to give a clear account in a dispute to be associated with Allah. وَجَعَلُوا الْمَلَائِكَةَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ إِنَاثًا أَشَهِدُوا خَلْقَهُمْ سَتُكْتَبُوا شَهَادَتُهُمْ وَيُسْأَلُونَ And they make into females angels who themselves serve Allah did they witness their creation, their evidence will be recorded and they will be called to account. وَقَالُوا لَوْ شَاءَ الرَّحْمَانُ مَا عَبَدْنَاهُمْ مَا لَهُمْ بِذَلِكَ مِنْ عِلْمٍ إِنْهُمْ إِلَّا يَخْرُسُونَ Ah, they say, if it had been the will of Allah most gracious, we should not have worshipped such deities. Of that they have no knowledge, 
they do nothing but lie. Let us take it from the beginning. Allah SWT is telling them that uh, what an amazing thing. Allah SWT has created for you both sons and daughters. But you yourself, you like the sons more than the daughters. And then you attribute daughters to Allah. Once you don't like yourselves, then why do you attribute daughters to Allah? And then Allah SWT is telling about their nature. One of them, if he is given the news that his wife has given birth to a daughter, to a female, the person is startled. Why? Because bad news has come to him. His face becomes dark because of that bad news. And he finds himself in total grief. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that that female who is brought up in ornaments and uh, when she is to argue with someone, she is not very eloquent, very eloquent to defend herself. Now, if that is the nature of the female or the women, you are going to associate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with, with females by saying that the angels of Allah, they are, they are just daughters of Allah. Something which you don't like for yourself, how you are going to associate them with Allah. And then very clearly they were told that they have declared the angels who are Ibadur Rahman, who are the servants of Allah, servants of Rahman, they have declared them as females. All right. Ashahidu khalqahum. Were you present when they were created? No, you were not present. If you were present, then where is your uh, witness? Where is your testimony? Your testimony would be recorded. And on the day of judgment, you would be asked. Of course, they did not witness the creation of the angels. So they got no testimony at all. Now, among the different uh, crimes which they have committed, we can say that they have said many things. First of all, they attributed children to Allah, whether daughters or sons. Anyhow, they have attributed children to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that is one of the biggest crimes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has negated it in many verses of the Quran. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He did not beget nor was he begotten. And second thing, they are saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, taken the daughters as uh, his angels. As if uh, he has given preference to the daughters by turning the angels into females. And that is again, that is a fallacy, that is something wrong. Third thing which they have been doing, they have been worshipping these angels by creating idols on the form and shape of the woman. That is again something very wrong. And the fourth thing which is mentioned in this ayah, that is their argument that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted, we could not have done any shirk at all. This is known as uh, taking the issue of taqdeer, the issue of the pre-estimation as an argument for you. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has pre-estimated everything, then if we have worshipped idols, then it was the will of Allah. If we have worshipped the angels, if uh, that was the will of Allah, if Allah SWT wanted to stop us, He could have stopped us. That what they said. وَقَالُوا لَوْ شَاءَ الرَّحْمَانُ مَا عَبَدْنَاهُمْ If Rahman wanted, we could have not worshipped them. And the answer comes from Allah. مَا لَهُمْ بِذَلِكَ مِنْ عِلْمٍ They got no knowledge at all. In whom إِلَّا يَخْرُسُونَ They are just reckoning. They are just uh, uh, guessing. It is not except just guessing only. Why? Because taqdeer or pre-estimation does not mean what they, what they understand. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given free will to each and every person. Of course, uh, that person is working into 
a wider orbit created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But there is a free will for us. And you notice it in yourself. If you want to move your hand, yes, you move it. If you want to walk, you walk. If you want to stand up, you stand up. It means that you are controlling now your body. This is because that free will which is given to you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, you can't say that when we are committing a sin, because it has been pre-estimated for us, this is why we have committed it. No, that is totally wrong. We should understand that Al-Qadr, actually it means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is knowledgeable. He got the knowledge of everything which is going to happen. And that knowledge has been recorded by him. This is why we say that everything has been recorded. But actually that is the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not forcing a person to commit a murder for example. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said no, don't, uh, don't murder a person. وَلَا تَقْتُلُ النَّفْسَ الَّتِي حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ Don't kill a person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited his killing except if you got a just cause. For example, when uh, the justice is done for a murderer that he is to be killed because of his murder, that is something else. But in other cases, you are not allowed to kill a person. So, when you kill a person unjustly, that is your action. And you are responsible for that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because he was because he got the knowledge of everything. He knew beforehand that you, at a certain moment, at a certain time, you are going to kill a certain person. And that has been recorded. So that was in the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not ask you to do that. He did not reveal it to you that you got the duty to kill such and such person. So from where you... You got this argument that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted, he could have stopped us. You have used your own will and you are responsible because of that will. So, that was the argument. It is uh, a parable as well and it is also a very fine uh, specimen of argument about Qadr and how you should deal the issue of Qadr pre-estimation. And with this we come to the end of this program. وصلى الله تعالى على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.